Hi, it's Stephen Pildridge here from Academic Supply. We're looking at question 8, ACCA, Mass GCSE, Higher Tier Paper 1, on the 4th of June 2007. This is available on the ACCA.org.uk website. And also, if you're looking for extra tutoring, you can go to academicsupply.co.uk. Um, we're looking at here simplifying x to the power of 3 times that is a time sign uh, and that's an x x to the power of 5 so let's look at this question first of all what is x to the power of 3 Let, uh, well let's have a look um, sorry that's a mistake I need to get the pen working there you go x to the power of 3 well that is actually x times x times x so those big x's are x's and those small are the times multiply sign okay that is what x to the power of 3 means now x to the power that is not the same as 3 x that you often you can see sometimes that's not to the power that is 3 x equals x plus x plus x sorry I repeat myself twice there 3 x equals 3 x which equals x plus x plus x and that's plus sign there not the multiply sign that we have here now x to the 5 is the same x to the power of 5 is x times x times x times x times x. You probably wouldn't need to do this, but I'm just illustrating what we're talking about. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, when you have powers, um, a common mistake is to multiply the powers. So do 3 times 5. That is wrong. What you have to do with powers is to plus them so x to the 3 multiplied by x to the 5 you plus the powers there the little multiply sign there 3 plus 5 is 8 the answer is x to the power of 8 and that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 You'd, if you did x to the power of 8 then there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight x's. I won't write them all out, it'll take too long. I'll do some dots, but there'll be eight multiplied together. Now, as I was explaining before, three x is not three to the power of x, because if you had three x, I'll just do another question here. Um, times five to the power of x, yeah? That's different. When you have them in front, not to the power that is when you multiply that equals 15 x so that would be 15 times x not x to the power of 8 so you have to be careful whether it's a factor in front of the x or to the power now 12 divided by 4 y uh, we'll go on to question 2 now y to the power of 12 well what you do to the power when you're dividing Similarly, you, a common mistake would be to do 12 divided by 4, which is 3, which is correct if you have 12 to the power of y divided by 4 to the y. Then you get 3 to the power of y. But in this case, it's to the power. So this would be, to, to divide 12 by 4 would be wrong for the power case. So 4 to the 12 divided by 5 to the 4 writing it with an, uh, in a fraction instead of with a divide sign uh, that's a 12, sorry the tw white has uh, gone into the y there um, y to the 12 divided by y to the 4 is actually equal to y to the power of 8 so that's equal to y to the power of 12 minus 4 12 minus 4 equals 8 so when you're doing powers, as I said before, you've got to be a little bit careful. You don't get confused. Um, okay, now we have one with a bracket. 
Okay, now let's have a look at this one. I'm just going to scroll a bit further down to get a bit more space. Um, okay, now let's extend the page a bit. Uh, okay, I'll just. Uh, um, okay, now we're going to look at three white t to the power of two cubed. Now let's have a look at that. I'm just going to write that out in full here. Sorry, mistake there. That's a cube. Right, what does that mean? Well, that actually means 3w2 squared in one bracket. We've got three of them, remember. One, two, three. 3wt squared times 3wt squared. So we've multiplied it out three times. Okay. Well, this is um, a reasonably long way of doing it, but it's, it makes it gets you the right idea of how to do it. So what we can do is that we can say instead of doing that we can do 3 to the power of 3 w to the power of 3 and t squared to the power of 3 that's an easy way of writing that so when you've got the power rule you can a bracket that means doing 3 to the power of 3, that one to the power of 3, and this one to the power of 3. And then what do we get? We get 3 to the power of 3 is 9, w to the power of 3, and then 2t3. Okay, remember the power rule in this case um, is 2t times 2t times 2t. So it's t to the power of six because we have it outside the bracket in this case you don't add if we had 2t to 3 we would add them that equals 2 to the power of 5 but in this case we've got 2t 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 that's what or you were when we write 2 to the 3 out that's what it looks like so actually we got 2 plus 2 plus 2 to 6 so when you've got it outside the bracket I know before I was saying you add them but this is different when you write 2t out it's like having 2t 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 and you add those 2 2 2 2 to the power of 6 so be a bit careful when you have a bracket um, you ha uh, it's different from when you have 2t times 2 3 it's not the same some people do get that confused so that's right and we finished all those marks and we're just going to have a look through see how we got on we've got two marks there it's, it's good to get your working nice and done nicely uh, one mark there one mark there we've got four marks on to the next question and hopefully aiming for a high mark in our GCSEs <laughs>